remember when Eddie Jones kept constantly being um, always put up in trade talks. Every year, every year, every year, Eddie Jones constantly kept being put in trade talks when we picked up Kobe Bryant. I mentioned Eddie Jones went to the front office, told the front office, listen, go ahead and trade me a Big E. For those that don't know who Big E is, that's Alden Campbell. He said, go ahead and trade us so we can get up out of here. Personally, Magic Johnson, you know, regardless of what Magic Johnson said at the beginning, regardless of all the bull crap that he told us about, you know, building up these young guys, developing them and all that, wipe that to the side. Now, first and foremost, I want to share this real quick. To all the guys and, and you know, and girls also that comment in my uh, comment board, regardless if we have disagreements or, you know, different opinions, regardless if you tell me shut the F up, you idiot, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, study, do facts, whatever you want to call it. I still got love for y'all because at the end of the day I do this, I brush it off my shoulder like Rogaine. So I want to make sure y'all understand that. I'm always going to have love for you guys, regardless if we disagree, regardless y'all chew me out, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not built off emotions, I'm built off just by looking at certain situations. I told you guys before that uh, I, me personally, I wouldn't give up the whole farm for AD and the biggest problem that I'm seeing when I'm in a comment session is this. The guys who actually want AD, and I'm not saying I don't want him. Let me make sure you understand that. I'm just saying that the Lakers want to. The Lakers want to give too much away for him. That's what I'm saying. But the guys that say that they, you know, that want him, when I look in the comment section, all they look at is the stats. They talk about the young core, how bummed they are, all that garbage, blah, blah, blah. But no one ever brings up about AD's injuries. That's, see, regardless of what you say, anybody else say, that's a historical, okay, that he has been known to be injured prone. That's my problem, and I know a lot of y'all do not watch all my videos, or y'all do not watch the whole video in its entirely. But that's my biggest problem: is that AD just stay injured prone. LeBron James is injured right now. This is his first injury that he never, you know, his first major injury, if you want to say it, dealing with his grown. He's 34 years old. Once you get old, regardless about the pads, whatever they claim that he taken down in Miami. Once you get old, once you get old, and this is for the young brothers who don't understand this, your bones are not the same. Your your body is not the same as it used to be when you was 15, 16, 17, 20 something years old, where it can heal naturally. Alright? So you got AD, who's injured prone. LeBron James, you know, first time being injured. Now we great change we great trade the whole system away for AD. I know fans are like, yeah, that's a good move, that's a good thing. Basically, what, what, what's about to happen is we're about to be Paul. Uh, we're about to be Paul Gasol, or Paul Gasol. You want to say it? Yeah. Remember when the Lakers uh, did that with Paul Gasol? You know, um, basically got him for a bag of chips. We're about to get to see. We're about to be bamboozled. And for all the fans that sit there and say, "Well, you know, you could build around AD, AD, this and that," all I want to say to you guys: When LeBron James tired, retire, and just say if no star wants to come here. I'm just saying. Just say no star wants to come here. And we got AD, a man who stay injured, right? So, what has he done at the Pelicans? Yeah, he is actually, like I said, his stats are always good. Don't get me wrong. But has he carried a team? I think what they would have played, how many times since he's been there? I keep telling you guys, this league is now a guard-oriented league. Now, according to um, Trevor Lane, I listened to watch his video. The Lakers are willing to give away um, Brandon Ingram, Kuzma, um... Who's the other one? God dang. Um, oh, Lonzo Ball, Beasley, Rondo, Lance Stevens, and two first round picks for AD and Solomon Hill. No bad contract. Keep this in mind. One thing about Solomon Hill contract is that I think what his next year he, he makes anywhere between 13, 14 million. It's going to prevent us from getting that third hit of snake. It's going to prevent us. Now, if somebody come over here and sign for lesser money, it could happen. But let's also make sure we understand this. Carmelo just been released from the Chicago Bulls. That's LeBron James' friend. LeBron James is going to make sure Carmelo Anthony comes here. That's why they were, they were eager to push Kuzma. Because that way, if you push Kuzma, you have um, Carmelo Anthony playing a power four spot. And LeBron playing the three. I don't know who how a bench going to look like. I don't know who our starting five going to be. I mean, they still keep Mavika. I mean, but he could be thrown into the, uh, the mix later on down the line. So they're giving up the whole kitchen sink, plus the bathroom, the toilet, 
the old lady with no teeth, the cat that be going meow when he did should be meow because it's really a dog. They're giving everything up just for that. Now, for the fans that sit there and say, well, Urban, you know, we want to, we, we, we just try to win. We try to do something. I understand that we're trying to win. I, I've been saying over and over again. I'm just saying that we give it up way too much just for AD. Now, AD wasn't injured and all that. I'll give him right up because if people follow my videos, I said a while ago, I said I would give up a lot of players just for the Greek Freak because I like the Greek Freak. I like his gameplay. So, my problem, like I said, my biggest problem with AD is yeah, he just be injured. And I think that the Lakers are actually going to, this is going to be karma. I think it's going to come back and haunt them. I really, truly believe that. I truly believe that. I think it's going to come back and bite them in the butt. Because they're doing way too much. They give it up way, they give it their whole farm just for the likes of AD. I'm, it just don't make any sense to me. And for those that sit there and say, you know, I'm not even going to get into all that. But personally, I just think they're giving up too much for AD. That's my thing. That's my opinion. Some might disagree with me. It's cool and all. Your opinion is your opinion. My opinion is my opinion. I won't be mad at you guys. I will not get upset when I call you names and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a man first, so I ain't going to be out here disrespecting nobody. You know what I'm saying? My channel is for us to get in the comment section and chop it up like barbershop, you know, talk. So keep that in mind. Like I said, my only biggest problem is that we're giving up way too much just for AD. Magic Johnson already said it a while back going Twitter. You know, when he tweeted before he became the vice president of basketball operation, that he would give up everybody just for LeBron James. Not once, but he said it twice. So I said it in my videos a while back. I put in my videos. I said, Magic Johnson, to make LeBron James happy, he's going to do whatever he can to make that man happy. He loves LeBron. He loves LeBron. Now, I just think that it's going to be a bad move because now you're giving away a bunch of young guys. But here's the thing. Excuse me. If we keep one guy, that's cool. But my thing is this, at the end of the day, is this. To be honest with you, I hope that they do trade the young guys away. I know they all going to be disagree with me, but I'm going to tell you a reason why I say that. Since LeBron James came here, and before LeBron James came here, Lou Walton has not developed these young players at all. This is the main reason people outside the Lake of Brass can talk all that trash about them being bums and all that. This is the main reason when you see DeAndre Russell and Julius Randle go to a, a, a team with, with, with a playbook experience are playing much better than what the Lakers, Lakers young players are playing at. You see the potential with Brandon and Kuzma um, and Lonzo Ball. But Lou Walton does not get the best out of these young players at all. He is a veteran's coach that because he needs a veteran to actually help him coach these players. He's not a young developing coach at all. Even we can make the excuse about Jim Buss and Mitch Kupchak that when they got him here, he was the developing players. But let's keep in mind, he was only giving his starters 25 minutes. You cannot develop players under 25 minutes. You cannot sit players down when they're hot. You cannot tell your best point guard that, listen, you're going to be an off guard now. And I'm going to force you to shoot because I'm taking you out of your, your character and making you play something that you're not used to playing. So when the fans looking in, they're going to say, well, Lonzo Ball sucks. He can't shoot. He can't do this, that. That's not Lonzo Ball's game. Lonzo Ball was brought here to be the ball handler, the main ball handler, which he was later turned to an off guard. Kuzma does not have no plays called for him at all. No play schemes at all. Brandon Ingram, I've been saying that a long time ago that he should not have the ball. He should play off the ball. When Brandon Ingram plays off the ball, he played much better and they play at a better, higher level. Abika Zubak, the thing is they don't know how to, they, 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 I'm going to say they don't know how to, but when LeBron was there, they were doing a good lot of good pick and rolls with him. Backdoor cuts and stuff like that, him, uh, Rondo, and also Lonzo Ball. They just don't know how to develop these young players, simply put. So personally, I prefer that the Lakers do trade all of them. Let's just trade them, get it over with. You got LeBron, you got AD, build around them. I don't know how long LeBron got. Go ahead, build around them. See where we go from there. It's no point us keep complaining. It's going to happen. These guys, these young players, will be much better playing for another team that's actually going to help them develop. And we can sit back and look at these young players when they develop. Because I'm telling y'all, all five, all me see three, four, five, all five of them young players. Even Jordan Clarkson, even Cleveland, you know, coming off the bench, average 18. So all six of them young players that we have so far, that we used to have, are going to be flourishing. Mark my words, they're going to be flourishing. The biggest thing is that we so hyped up on the AD, LeBron James scenario. But we're not paying full attention to anything else. But like I said, because of Luke Walton is not a good freaking development coach, it's best to trade these young players. Unless you get rid of Luke Walton. And I don't know what's going to happen with that fiasco, but they might get rid of him at the end of the season. 
and Ty Lue might be the coach for the uh the Cleveland, I mean for the Lakers. Not no Mark Jackson, because Mark Jackson's more X and O coach. LeBron James don't like coaches like that. And for those that sit there and say yes he does, blah blah blah. Um just just look at his history. I, I don't have to sit here and explain for you guys. All you gotta do is look at his history. He likes coaches that he can control. Ty Lue he can control. Even Luke Walton to a degree he controlled. That's why Kuzma was starting. If it wasn't for LeBron James, Kuzma would be on the bench coming off the bench. All right, so let's keep that in mind. It's the same thing when we picked up IT last year. When IT came, they made Lonzo Ball a two guard and made IT bring the IT bring the ball down. I said in my videos, why are you letting IT bring the ball down when he's the best shooter? Put the ball in Lonzo Ball hand and let him let the IT play off the ball, let him spot up or whatever it may be. Instead, we decided to let IT run the point and look what happened. We freaking just the window right away. But anyway. It's your man Herbal Love. Well, this was going on. The Lakers are throwing the whole sink at him. Uh, they're throwing everybody at him. Water Boy, the Mother Mother Earth, whatever. They're throwing everybody at uh, the Pelicans in order to make this thing happen. It's going to happen. Because right now, the Pelicans, I, you know, it's going to put like this. It's going to happen. But the only problem is that a lot of players ain't going to stay in New Orleans. I know that for a fact. They will get the heck out of it. I like to be honest with you, I like to see Lonzo Ball in New York. I've been saying it over and over again. I like to see him play for New York. And New York basically just emptied their whole freaking roster out. To make way for you know for you know to rebuild, I like to see Lonzo Ball in New York. So, it's your man Urban Level. Like, share, subscribe, get in the comments, tell them what you think. Uh, what you think about this deal? Do you think the Lakers should throw the whole sink at him, or do you think uh, they should wait? Um, you know, wait to free agent. You know, free agency, and, and keep that in mind. If we get AD, there's no guarantee we're gonna get a third player. There's no guarantee that third player is gonna take a pay cut. This is why I say that we should really wait to the off season to be able to pick up two players. And basically don't pick up no bad contracts. And this is my thing. You got to keep in mind, Dell, like I said, Dell Dimps is connected to Greg Popovich. The spirit of Greg Popovich is in Dell Dimps. And that is to actually cripple the Lakers. I'm going to take your whole entire farm. And I'm going to take two of your first round draft picks. So you're going to struggle even after LeBron is gone. So you're not going to get no draft pick. You're going to have to hope that you get free agents to come here to play with AD. Got to think about that. Is it worth it? <laughs> I, it don't matter to me. Right now, I'm at the point right now, I just want the Lakers to go ahead and just trade all the young players and let's move on. Let the young players go to another team where they can really develop so we can sit back and like, damn, they were nice. Which, a lot of Lakers fans already know that. But let them move on. Anyway, it's your man, Herbalo. I'm sick as crap, man. I just want to drop this video out here, you guys. Listen, I love you guys, man. Get in the comment section, man. Chew me up. I don't care, man. Spit that fire, baby. Tell me shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? It's all good here, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop some freaking, oh my God, I'm sick. I'll talk to y'all guys later, man. But you know how I feel, man. It is what it is. Y'all take care.